Hey guys, how is everybody today? So in this video, I wanted to talk about one of the most powerful things known to humankind. And what that is, it's the mind, guys. Because so many people overlook this factor when it comes to success. This, this mental state that we need to progress ourselves into in order to be able to first withstand and weather the storm that's coming your way when it, when you decide to become an entrepreneur and then not just withstand and weather this storm but prevail through it right it takes a certain type of mindset to be able to do these things and come through it successful and standing on top of the podium in the number one place in the number one spot so there's this old saying that goes like this i think Therefore, I am. What does this mean? All right, what does this mean? To me, this means that what I manifest inside of my mind, inside of my brain, what I believe I can be, I then become. All right, all of the great books, all of the great books, right? Think and Grow Rich. What else do we have? Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Daily Stoic, right? All the great books of all time revolve around this concept, the whole premise. You don't even need to read this book because this is the message, I think, therefore I am. The same as Rich Dad, Poor Dad, this gives a little bit more strategy around um, making investments and things like that. But the most part, the, the, the story behind this entire book is, I think, therefore I am. I become what I create inside of my mind. What I manifest inside internally then spreads out into the external world around me right so guys this is one of the most powerful concepts that anybody could wrap their head around and and not just that but embrace into your life take this into your life and become what you believe you are right now there's another aspect to this because most of us suffer from imposter syndrome i do right? I've been publishing for 10 years. I'm extremely good at what I do. I'm very successful at it, but still I doubt my ability to be able to teach others this. I doubt my ability to, um, to become a good coach. I doubt my ability every single day. This is part of the human experience. This is who we are. We will consistently doubt no matter how great our achievements. All of the great people from, from times past, right? Emperors of Rome, um, great kings of England, all doubted themselves. They all doubted their positions. It is the human experience. People who are on top find it so difficult there. That's why they say it's lonely at the top. Because when you're up there, it's so easy to lose it all. And all you have to do is make one little human mistake and it's all gone. Your entire kingdom crumbles. Rome crumbled everything can crumble right so like these great kingdoms of times past these great scholars they all had self-doubt they all did so we need to essentially try to overcome these self self-doubts and the first step to doing that is accepting them right we have to accept that we're not perfect we're human beings we make mistakes we make errors we doubt ourselves we suffer from imposter syndrome we all do we all do i do you do great kings did, great queens have, we all suffer from imposter syndrome. Now, what is imposter syndrome, right? It's not the ability to execute on what you're trying to achieve. It's, it's the doubt. It's the doubt that you can actually execute. So we are sort of thinking in our minds, I can't, so therefore we won't, right? But if we think I can, therefore we can. Now, I know that's a real cliche, but it's just so true, guys. It is so true. Developing the right mindset around your business, around your publishing life, around whatever it is that you set your, your mind to, whatever your goals are, is imperative to the success. It is imperative, absolutely imperative. You cannot have success without having the right mental attitude. If you don't have that mental toughness, that routine built into your life, and I know a lot of people don't like to build routine, right? I, I hear people, especially high-level people, say, I'm not into building routine. Guys, we are, we are, 
we are creatures of routine. Everything we do is routine, whether it's brushing our teeth in the morning, having a shower in the evening. It's all a routine. The same way that we put our shoes on in the morning, the same way that we wake up at a certain time, the same way that we get into our cars and we travel the same roads along the same journeys every single day. We are creatures of routine. We are extremely predictable. Fighting against our nature is no way to achieve success. Saying, I don't want to build routine in my life because it, it puts me into, I guess, like a military type drill situation is it, it's counterintuitive to who we are as human beings. Now, building a strict routine is very difficult, right? Because we are also creatures of, uh, what's the word that I should use here? <laughs> I guess laziness, right? <laughs> As human beings, we want to take the path of least resistance all the time. However, we are creatures of routine. So if we can grab that routine, that, that natural ability to fall into a routine how we do, and then, I guess, optimize it to be able to achieve our success, to achieve our goals, to uh, optimize our routine so we, we, we're not just flying through life aimlessly, but we're headed towards something into a certain direction. This is the first step on overcoming self-doubt, right? Because we can, we can put ourselves into a position where we are following a specific route, a specific route, and we know that the answer to our, to our struggles lies at the end of this um, road, so to speak, right? That's the first step. Now, once we're on that, that particular route, where, where we're traveling down this road and we're doing it every single day, we're building a, a routine inside of our lives. We're building some form of consistency. We start to get good at what we're doing, right? And through becoming good at what we're doing, we are able to build confidence. It always comes back to confidence. Confidence will trump our doubt every time. If we can think, therefore we are right? We need to build confidence to be able to believe that we should become, right? So at the end of the day, guys, mindset is everything. And I hate using that word, right? I, I really hate using that word mindset because over the years, it's, it's become like woo-woo. There's all these coaches in mindset now that claim to be able to uh, build you a rock-solid mindset like a, a way where you're be unbroken unbreakable and and you know there is some truth to it like david goggins some of the big guys out there uh wes watson some of these like real hardcore mindset coaches that speak nothing but truths then yeah there's definitely there's definitely something to that for sure but at the end of the day guys it's completely up to us we need to understand we need to unpack our our doubts because we all have them right as i've mentioned many times Marcus Aurelius, great emperors of times past. Rome's last great emperor had self-doubts. You know, he was a Stoic, and if you read his book Meditations, it's full of them on a daily basis. This man doubted himself, and this man is, is looked at as one of the greatest men of all time, right? One of the greatest men, one of the most just amazing minds of all time, full of self-doubt. We're all full of it, guys. Marcus Aurelius talks about uh, creating a routine about getting out of bed, how he would lay in bed in the morning thinking, is this what I am made for? Is this my life? Is this why I'm here? To, to snuggle, to be warm? Or is there more to this? Do I need to fling my body out of this bed and get up and undertake my duties to perform my routines? Is that what I'm made for? Is that why I'm put on this earth? He asked all of these hard questions, right, on a consistent basis. Why? The big why questions. Now, why questions are fantastic as well, guys. Like, we need to expand our horizons. Ask the big questions. Why are we here? Why this universe? Why was I born? What am I on this earth to do? Will passive income help me achieve these things? Well, yeah. Passive income will help us achieve all of our whys. And, okay, here's a good one. Why, Dan? Why will passive income help us achieve all of our whys? It won't achieve our whys for us, but it will give us freedom to therefore undertake the philosophy we need 
to unpack our lives. Now, we a lot of us tend to not think about the bigger things, the bigger picture, the bigger questions. I always have it just who I am. But we don't because we're so busy in our daily lives. We're so busy making somebody else rich in a job. We're so busy worrying about being late to work. We're so busy worrying about the bills and, and uh, our child's uh, t- tuition fees. We're so busy worrying about all these things, we forget to ask the beautiful questions, the why questions. Why am I here? What is life really about? Now, we can't really ask those questions when we're so full of rushing around in this daily grind, this daily life, but passive income can free us from that, right? So guys, at the end of the day, you know, like this video has been about quite a few things, but at the end of the day, it's really about developing that mindset, that mind about how can I go from point A to point B with as little resistance as possible and be confident in my ability ability to do so it all comes back down to building that routine guys creating that consistency consistency creates confidence and through confidence we can diminish our self-doubt right so if i'll leave you with one thing it will be we are all capable we are all extremely capable we doubt that capability on a consistent basis i do you do Marcus Aurelius did. Great kings and queens of past times and current do. We all have doubts. Know that even with these doubts, people before you and after you and you can still achieve greatness in this life. Now, greatness means different things to different people. Greatness to some people might be spending more time with my grandchildren. And that is a great thing to aspire to. Greatness could mean changing the world, flying human beings into space. Greatness could mean cleaning up our oceans and bringing people together for a common cause. Your greatness is is different to somebody else's greatness, but these things are all great. They're still all great, and you are still very capable. Guys, just remember that. You are still very capable. Anyway, guys, if you want help to build passive income... um, I can help you do that, right? Passive income, we all know it can free us up to ask these bigger why questions. Drop a why in the comments and I'll reach out to you. You all have a great day.